What is going on everybody? Uh, welcome to or welcome back to the YouTube channel. Uh, so I have a pretty fun video for today. As you can see by the thumbnail of the video, I am doing a whole Mishimoto radiator, 180 degree thermostats. Um, I do have some transmission fluid I'm gonna throw in there and I have some coolant hoses. I'll show you guys all that in just a second. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's hop right into the video. For those of you with a Fiesta ST, Ford no longer makes the orange coolant. Um, they swapped all over to the yellow because people were confusing with Dex Cool and stuff like that. So uh, we're putting all yellow Motorcraft in there. And of course I got some water, we're gonna mix it up. All right, so first I'm gonna go ahead and start on just completely removing the front bumper, headlights, all that stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna record because it's tedious work. I'm sure everyone's done it by now. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get right into that. Winds southerly at about 15 with gusts of 25 miles an hour. Barometric pressure 30.00 and is rising. And right, so I got pretty tied up uh, taking the front end off. Uh, I got the front bumper off. I got pretty much everything unbolted from the, the crash bar. I went ahead and took off that lower radiator hose. Just a little cooling out. So there'll be nothing left in there when I do the thermostat and the radiator. So next I'm just working on getting the crash bar off and the core support out. All right, so front crash bar is completely off. Um, I have a lot of access to the radiator and the AC condenser now. Uh, the front crash bar is literally just four bolts on the side here. A couple bolts on the intercooler. You do have to take the intercooler off in order to get that out. Uh, was fairly simple though, pulling off a couple, um, couple connectors and stuff like that that are stuck in there in the horns. Okay, so I got the whole support out. Uh, I just pulled off the fan, which comes out super easy. There's just two little tabs right here and here, and then it just slides up off the radiator. So now we're just down to the radiator and AC condenser. All right, so I'm starting to get ready to take the uh, the thermostat out. And as you can see, it's way back in that tiny housing in there, which is super tight. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this radiator hose off because I do have replacements. Uh, I got red hoses for those. So I'm gonna go ahead and get pulling that off. Okay, so. This is a nightmare. Um, I am. I had to take the belt off because I had to loosen up the alternator here to be able to move it so I could get that bolt back there on the thermostat housing um, to take the alternator off or to take the belt off. You just have a little 17 mil bolt right on that tensioner. So I just used an open end. Oh, I don't know where it went. Uh, it's right here. I just used an open end wrench, threw it on there, pull it towards which brought it loose and unwrapped it on there, or un pulled it over the, the AC pump. So it's all loose now. So I should be able to just pull that thermostat housing out and then I'll be able to put the new, new T-stat in. All right, so the new thermostat, or the thermostat housing is completely out. Uh, this is what it looks like. And this is what you get when you order a thermostat. Uh, it's got the two gaskets in there and the thermostat itself with a gasket on it. So what you're gonna do is, you know, take this guy, you know, push down on the springs. You basically just push down and twist until it completely pops up like that. Then you got your spring and the hold down. You want to hang on to those. And the thermostat comes right out. So this one's looking, looks, uh, seen better days. Definitely pretty nasty. All right, so next I'm just gonna grab a pick. I got my handy dandy Harbor Freight one here. And you wanna go ahead and remove these seals that are along the outside. They may be stuck on pretty good just because it's been, this one's been on there since 2015. So I'm gonna pull those out. Can't get that one. So then with the new stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the um, reverse of the removal. So go ahead and put all these back in. All 
All right, so the thermostat, the housing and thermostat's back in along with this little black, I think it's sensor of some sort. Uh, we just did a reverse, reverse removal, pretty easy. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this old button back up. Uh, I'm gonna eat some food real quick because I'm starving. And then after that, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my transmission fluid just because I'm here already and I want to put some O tool in it. So because transmission's here, that's easy. You just remove the drain, add it in the fill. It's pretty simple. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get that all taken care of and I'll hop on back with you guys once I start assembling all the radiator stuff. One eternity later. All right. I uh, wish I had anything good to say about these radiator hoses, but the trash. Don't recommend them. Don't buy them, they don't fit. So, I'm using the stock ones still. Cause bottom one fits, top one can't get on that. So, uh, we're just gonna start putting the radiator back in and get it all back together. So here's stock. There's the Mishimoto. There's a little comparison. Um, shouldn't be having any more overheating issues, that's for sure. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, I forgot to record a ton again. Um, got the front end back together, got the intercooler on, got the under shield back on. Um, so now pretty much all I'm doing is filling up, I got a new coolant bottle. Filling up my coolant bottle with coolant and I'm letting it run through that and then I'm gonna drop down, turn it on, let it run with the cap off for a while to bleed. And then we're gonna take it on a test drive. So it is all done. Um, the whole point of me doing this mainly was to be able to run my AC in the summer and not have to be, not have to deal with overheating anymore too. And uh, my AC does not blow cold, so that's sweet. All right, so that was actually me being dumb. Uh, I forgot to plug the ambient air temperature sensor back in. And without that plugged in, AC clutch doesn't engage, AC doesn't work. I plugged it in, everything works great. It's nice and cold and it's perfect. So I'll have to fix that. Um, I'll put the bumper back on and stuff. But um, yeah, overall that was a lot harder than it should have been. That was a pain in the ass. Uh, the, I'm gonna wait on the transmission fluid. I'll probably do that tomorrow or something like that. But um, 
yeah, so other than that, if you guys are new to the channel, I would appreciate it if you subscribed. Uh, hopefully I got some more content coming for this thing. But yeah, so I will see you guys in the next one. Mm.